Hello and welcome to this Blitz Report Short. Today I'm going to show you how to add some KPI metrics to an existing Blitz Report from within the, the standard library that uh, is provided with the tool. Um, and so I will show you how that process goes. So we're in the familiar EBS um, uh, domain. You can see I've added the Blitz Report to the top 10 list because I'm using it frequently. So let's just begin by opening it. And then here we can start by searching for our uh, order uh, headers and line report. That's just, uh, that should be enough to find it. Okay, so here we've got our standard parameters uh, that we've uh, added to this report. Uh, and if we go into the setup, uh, we can see uh, that the simple SQL has been provided here on the left hand side. Uh, as a developer, you will see this. As a user, obviously, this would be hidden. So let's run the report. This will send the output directly to uh, Excel. You can add, uh, as I said before, you can add parameters at this point. So for example, it could be that you wanted to only see closed lines and then run the report. At this point, it will output to Excel. Uh, and then you can have a look at the output and decide what other metrics you'd like to see on there. So it's just opening Excel now. We can see here we've got our standard details such as customer, order number, uh, the order date, uh, the total, and a variety of other, other columns such as item description, warehouse. Over here we can see our scheduled arrival date and we can see our actual ship date. But we'd really like to be able to um, see whether this was you know, typically on time, uh, what the warehouse performance was, and whether they shipped in full. Uh, so we can close this and go back to our Blitz development front end. I'll just close this and go into here. I'm going to go into the setup of the report, into the editor, and I'm going to add after the shipment date, uh, you can see here we've got the scheduled arrival date or the SAD date. And then here I'm going to add our KPI metrics. So I've actually put here, I've, I've gone uh, look at the promise date, which is promised to the customer, minus the actual shipment date uh, to derive the on time or days late. Uh, and when this runs, it will put it into red with a minus, which equates the number of days late. Um, and then here we've got our shipped quantity minus our ordered quantity shipped in full when zero. Uh, and so we can quickly analyze that. If I say OK to that and save the report, it's now immediately available to run with uh, the users that this has been shared with. So I'll run it anyway just to make sure it's working, uh, make sure I haven't done any harm. I'm just going to come in here and again, I'm going to put in our... Uh, status of the line uh, in here. We could equally put the status of the header in a header also, and then I'm going to run. So that was the end of the uh, development cycle. As you can see here, we've got uh, our number of days late, and we can see here we've got uh, whether or not it was shipped in full. And that concludes the Blitz demonstration. Obviously, we can show you more for your particular application. Um, and why not come and join us at the Open World uh, in London on the 12th and 13th? Thank you. Goodbye.